let us discuss some basic terminologies you have already studied all these things in 11th standard okay so let us talk about functions what is function suppose we have two sets a and b suppose we have a two sets a is a relation from a to b if every element of a has unique image in b then we say a is a function okay so suppose we have some element a from capital a we have some element b from capital b okay and we have f of a is equal to b what we are getting a is mapping to b so in that case we say b is image b is image of a and yeah the same thing we can write in this way also huh? f inverse of b is equal to a f rest to minus 1 we write okay so f inverse of b is equal to a in that case we say a is pre image okay it is a pre image of b b is image of a and a is pre image of b okay so this thing we have here set a is called as a domain okay we call it as a domain and b is said to be codomain codomain so i am sure you have already familiar with all this concepts okay so make a screenshot of it after that we will go further let us discuss one example here okay so what i have considered i have considered two sets a having elements 4 1 2 3 4 and b is a set having six elements 1 4 6 9 12 16 12, okay a function f which is defined from a to b as f of x is equal to x square so we have defined a function in this way so that means let us operate this function on a domain element so that means f of 1 1 square that is 1 so that means our 1 goes to 1 1 maps to 1 f of 2 so here 2 square that means 4 so 2 maps to 4 right f of 3 by this definition 3 square which is 9 so that means 3 maps to 9 right and f of 4 which is 4 square that means 16 so 4 maps to 16 okay so in this way we have this function okay i have shown in this diagram here 1 2 3 4 that means set a is said to be domain set and this set b is said to be codomain set so there is one more set that is range set range set means what a set of elements of b which which are which elements having pre image okay so 1 has pre image 1 4 has pre image 2 see 6 has no any pre image 9 has pre image 3 12 has no any pre image and 16 has pre image 4 that means range set range set of f will be it will be 1 4 9 9 16 so this is said to be range set of f okay make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us talk about types of functions now okay so here we are going to discuss three types of functions one one or you can say it as injective onto or you can say surjective and the last one is bijective let us talk about injective function so see when we say the function is injective if any two distinct elements should have distinct images then we can say its function is said to be injective i will explain you so suppose this is domain a and b so if we have distinct elements their images should be distinct images should be different different getting so then we say it is a injective function if there are any two elements which are going towards a single point then it is not injective function getting so each elements okay every element should have distinct images then it is said to be injective let us talk about surjective surjective that means every element should have pre image every element of codomain should have pre image suppose here a b c x y z w c if i draw like this x has pre image a y has pre image c w has pre image b but z has no any pre image so it is not surjective function okay what is the condition for surjective every element of codomain should have pre image in domain then we say it is said to be surjective function okay so let us talk about bijective function if a function is injective 
and it is surjective then it is said to be bijective that means if function is both injective and surjective then we can declare it is a bijective function so let us discuss with examples make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss this examples okay so let us focus on first example what we have we have a function f which is defined in this way see any two distinct elements have distinct images getting no any two arrows coming towards a single point so that means 100 percent it is injective function f is injective right let us talk about surjective so every element has pre-image a has pre-image 1 b has pre-image 3 ch pre-image 2 so every element of codomain has a pre-image in domain so that's why it is a surjective function it is both injective and surjective so that's why we can declare it is bijective also let us talk about the second example so here a and 3 see a has image w2 has image x and 3 has image z so that means no any two rows arrows coming towards a same point so it's an injective function a, distinct elements have distinct images so that's why the function is injective talk about surjective so there is one element y which has no any pre-image so that's why it is not surjective getting so when we say the function is bijective if it is both injective surjective then we declare it is a bijective it is injective but not surjective so this function cannot be bijective let us talk about the last example so see here 1 and 3 both have the same image p 1 and 3 have the same image p so two arrows are moving towards a single point so that's why it is not injective function h is not injective see p has pre-image q has pre-image so every element of codomain has a pre-image in domain so that's why it's a surjective function when we say the function is bijective if it is both injective surjective then we declare it as a bijective so it is not happening here so that's why the function is not bijective so if you want you can make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you Bye-bye.